Welcome to the fight of the week. I'm Don Dunphy, your ringside commentator. Tonight's 10-rounder from the Kentucky Fair and Exposition Center in Louisville, Kentucky, brings together Cassius Clay, 1960 Olympic boxing champion from Louisville, and experienced Alonzo Johnson of Rankin, Pennsylvania. The 19-year-old Clay has made a great start as a professional. He's won all seven of his fights, five of them by knockouts. As an amateur, Clay won the 1960 Olympic light heavyweight, the National AAU light heavyweight, and the Golden Gloves heavyweight crowns. Now his sights are on bigger game. Johnson, 26 years old, was born in Aberdeen, Mississippi. He's a tough, hardy campaigner whose record shows wins over Nino Valdez and Tony Anthony. In 26 bouts, he has won 19 and lost seven. He shows six knockouts and has never been stopped. Johnson is five feet 11 and a half, while Clay stands six feet two and a half. At the State Athletic Board weigh-in this morning, Clay came in at 192 and a half, while Johnson was 189. In just a few minutes, a 10-round heavyweight fight between Cassius Clay and Alonzo Johnson will get underway. Well, we're almost ready to go here in Louisville, so let's get up into the ring and the ring announcer, George Lewis. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is a William H. King presentation. The ring officials are assigned here by the Kentucky State Athletic Board of Control, Bob Evans, Commissioner. Your judges are Harlow Edwards and Walter Beck. Your timekeeper, Ed Roby, counting at the knockdown, Soldier Buck. Your attending physician, J.P. Sutherland. And your referee, Don Asbury. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Ten rounds of boxing, and presenting from Louisville, Kentucky, weighing 192 and a half pounds, Cassius Clay. <laughs> and his opponent from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing 100. 89 pounds, Alonzo Johnson. Alonzo, you both know what it's all about. So let's have a good, clean fight. Watch your hip punching and holding. Uh, don't hold with one hand, hit with the other one. When I say break, break clean. Uh, the mandatory eight counts in effect. Man goes down three times in one round, fight's over. If you go down once, you must take the count of eight. Shake hands now, come on, fighting, good luck. Tomorrow. Scoring here in Louisville, the five-point must system. The winner of the round gets five points. The loser, anything less, even rounds, each man gets five. It's an 18-foot ring, and they're wearing eight-ounce gloves. A 10-round to the bell for round one. Clay in the white trunks, Johnson in the black trunks. You're going to see a fast fighter in Cassius Clay. Clay has great speed, quick hands. He figures to double and triple jab his man. Johnson has been in with the best. Johnson told us he was going to press Clay. Clay is a good counter-puncher. He's not been landing with the right hand, Clay hasn't, but he has been pumping that left in hard. There goes a good right. Johnson is trying to corner him. John Asbury, the referee, getting them apart. Right, right. 
Johnson's main hope at the moment seems to be for the youngster to make a mistake. One minute to go in round one. Note the rapidity and the dexterity of Clay's left hand. Some, sometimes starts it out as a jab and turns it into a hook. However, up on his toes as he is, he's not getting much punching power. Johnson is the more flat-footed of the two to give him power. Ten seconds to go in round one. There's the bell. Coming up to round two here in Louisville, Kentucky. Cash is Clay, White Trunks, Alonzo Johnson, and Black. get close enough you'll see that Johnson's face is well smeared with Vaseline although it may rub off by the time we see it if he turns this way Johnson has his back to us Now Clay is going flat-footed to hit a little harder. He's getting more power in his punches. Somebody behind us is yelling, Alonzo's an old man. He'll be 27 years old in September. Or rather, November. has a superabundance of energy. Less than a minute to go in round two. Johnson working the body to slow down his faster opponent. Those long right hands of Clay are landing, but without too much steam, he's got no follow through on them. Johnson equalizing things a little bit there. it back to the corner with Cassius Clay facing him as Angelo Dundee the well-traveled trainer of fighters he goes all over on the outside of Solomon McTeer with the towel over his head he was Ingemar Johansson's sparring partner for a while and on the right hand side is Rudy Clay the brother of Cassius 
who is an amateur fighter. Meanwhile, on the other side of the ring, we have Alonzo Johnson facing him and wiping off the face and maybe putting some more Vaseline on his manager, Mike Bazone, who's also the cut man in the corner. Leaning in from the outside, a familiar figure, Bob Baker. Uh, once rated heavyweight, he was number two contender for a while, a great boxer, Mr. Bob was. And the other man in the corner is Andy Tutter, carrying the pail out now. As we come up for round three here in the Kentucky Exposition Hall. Round three, Cassius Clay, the white trunks, comes out a little bit like Hurricane Jackson used to. Alonzo Johnson in the black. There's the grease on Johnson's face. Well, Johnson caught him leaning that time. Bout and Johnson is biding his time apparently. One minute to go in round three. is undefeated but he's never fought any one of the caliber of Johnson Johnson himself has never been knocked out <laughs> 10 seconds to go in round three There's the bell. Round four, Cassius Clay, the white trunks, Alonzo Johnson in black. Johnson's corner, the best of the fight. just too fast for Johnson. Well, 
Round four is half over. Now Clay is putt shotting his man. Seconds left in the round. Johnson down. And there's the mandatory eight count. He bounced right up. He claims it's not a knockdown. And the referee says no knockdown. The referee first decided to count, started to count, and then decided it was no knockdown. Uh, Johnson was off balance, but he was hit too. There's the bell ending round four. The referee taking Clay back to his corner, Don Asbury was also a fighter, amateur and pro, and was the all-Navy heavyweight champion and the Kentucky heavyweight champion quite a few years ago. Don Asbury, the referee. There's a crowd of uh, 7,100 here tonight, one of the largest crowds to see a fight here in many years. Round five, Cassius Clay, the white trunks, Alonzo Johnson and Black. No question but that Clay has dominated the fight during the first four rounds, mostly with his speed, but Johnson is winging away. Connor is yelling to him to hook, go the left hook. He leans pretty well back from punches, Alonzo, rather uh, cash as Clay does. However, leaning is considered dangerous, too. If you get tagged in that position, you might go out. Ten seconds to go in round five. There's the ball. 
Coming up to round six here in Louisville, and Cash is Clay on the white trunks. As the bell rings, Alonzo Johnson in black, and if Johnson is running out of gas, which he seems to be, it is going to be a very rough evening for the young man from Rankin, Pennsylvania. Clay's from Louisville. There have been no official knockdowns in the fight. Johnson went down in the fourth round, but it was ruled no knockdown. shows signs of maybe getting a little bit weary. Johnson still beating the body as, as hard as he can. Pretty hot all over the country tonight, and that goes for Louisville, and these young men are fighting under very, very hot conditions here. Not calculated to help their stamina any. definitely has slowed down. Less than half a minute left in the round. and Cassius Clay, the white trunks, has dominated the fight so far. Johnson and Black. My unofficial opinion, I would guess that if Johnson were going to win, it's got to be by a knockout. Punching of Johnson could be taking its toll on Clay now. The young man doesn't look as sharp as he did earlier. His punches haven't got that early zip. Johnson has not been able to land a big one to the head, however. Clay has landed many up there.
One minute to go in round seven. the second non-knockdown. Ten seconds to go in round seven. There's the bell. No official knockdowns in the fight so far. Play pretty far ahead. Johnson uh, finally using a left jab. about half over. hot under these ring lights here in Louisville. Both fighters apparently affected by it. the bell ending round eight. Over in uh, Cassius Clay's corner, facing him is Angelo Dundee, as I told you earlier, the well-traveled trainer. You saw him in um, many of the famous fights of Carmen Basilio and Carmen's Corner, also with Luis Rodriguez. And two weeks from tonight on August 5th, Angelo will be in the corner of Florentino Fernandez as he tries to lift the middleweight crown from the brow of Gene Fulmer in Ogden, Utah. And that fight, incidentally, will be on our fight of the week, but will be blacked out in the Ogden, Salt Lake City area. So that's uh, two weeks from tonight. Next Saturday night, by the way, again, Emil Griffith in a non-title fight. He's the Wellaway champion with Yama Bahama. We're coming up to round nine. Uh, here in Louisville, and at the end of round eight, many of the spectators were getting a little bit restless. Round nine, 
Cassius Clay, the white trunks, Alonzo Johnson and Black. Clay still leaves himself off balance when he throws a long right hand. No knockdowns in the fight. calling for more action. One minute to go in round nine. Johnson is very, very tired, but Clay apparently doesn't have the punch to stop him. Ten seconds to go in round nine. There's the bell. Coming up to round ten, the bell has sounded. Referee Don Asbury has them touch gloves. Cassius Clay, the white trunks, Alonzo Johnson in black. On our unofficial scorecard, Clay is way ahead. There have been no knockdowns. The scene of the combat, the Kentucky Fair and Exposition Center in Louisville, Kentucky, a beautiful building. Johnson's real weary. Let's see what they call that. That's the third time Johnson's been down, but there have been no official knockdowns. to go in this fight. Johnson's having trouble lasting now. He's 
is exceptionally tired. About 40 seconds left. The crowd very pro clay here in Louisville, rooting from the score a knockout. Twenty seconds left. Well, there'll be no knockout. Only a few seconds left. There's the final bell. Alonzo Johnson catches Clay, and we'll have the decision in just a minute. State Athletic Board Chairman Bob Evans is going over the cards on the left-hand side of the ring. Uh, announcer George Lewis is uh, reaching over, waiting for them. Scoring here in Louisville is on a five-point must system. The winner of a round gets five points. The loser, anything less than five. And even rounds are scored five points each. That it was a one-sided fight. I don't think there's any question about that. We'll have the decision in just a moment. I guess we're about ready for George Lewis. He's checking the card of the referee, Don Asbury. Referee Don Asbury, 50-44, Clay. <laughs> Judge Harlow Edwards, 48-45, Clay. <laughs> Judge Wilder Beck, 48-47, Clay. And the winner by unanimous decision. Cash is Clay the winner. The more they announce it, the closer it got, however. Don Asbury apparently gave Clay every round. Uh, Ten rounds at five points each. Fifty to forty-four for Johnson.